Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to The Legend of Isaac. That's right. Today, we combine two of Edmund McMillan's now most popular games of all time, The Legend of Bumbo and The Binding of Isaac, into The Legend of Isaac. How is this going to work? Uh, pretty easy, to be honest with you. We are going to hop into a game of Legend of Bumbo playing as Bumbo the Brave. We're going to do the first floor. Uh, the number of hearts we have and the number of half hearts we have at the end of this floor uh, equals the number of items that I get in Isaac. Uh, pretty straightforward. I do these a lot just to kind of show you guys some other games besides Isaac. Uh, obviously, you guys like that a lot. Uh, so when you see Isaac in the title, you click it. But uh, guess what? You got fooled. I'm playing Bumbo. So uh, we're going to explain what the Legend of Bumbo is as we go. And the goal of these kinds of videos uh, is to hopefully show you a new game that you have interest in possibly checking out. Um, Legend of Bumbo is pretty fun. It's a very different roguelite uh, from, from Isaac, but it still has that Edmund charm to it that is awesome. I mean, it's a very, very good game. has some bugs right now, has some things that I want changed in it, but... Uh, it's stuff that will get changed and will get implemented. So right now, uh, it's still very fun. So what exactly is going on in The Legend of Bumbo? Let, let's chat first. So we are Bumbo. Um, these are some enemies. They, they have health equal to the number of hearts next to their name. Uh, it's not a match four game, although it looks like one. Um, it, it's a strategy roguelite. That just happens to have mechanics that are match four. You use match four mechanics to create uh, combinations that then give you mana that you can use to do attacks. Uh, it's actually very, very well implemented the way that they have it. So let me demonstrate, okay? We can match four teeth. Now, teeth allow you to hit an enemy, okay? Uh, teeth, bones, both hit enemies. The P, or yellow mana, will give you an extra move. We only have two moves we can make here. Uh, the green mana will kind of take an action away from the enemy, so it'll stop them from attacking for a turn. And then finally, the poop will give us a little bit of defense, and we might lay down a poop here in a second. So let's start. Uh, let's hit the enemy. So that's going to give us four black mana and allow us to smack an enemy. We'll smack this fly. Uh, he is dead. Now, we got four black mana, which means that we can re-roll the puzzle board. This requires uh, two black mana to do. We could do it twice. This is going to re-roll everything that's on the board. Fantastic. Um, what benefit did this give us? Jack all, in case you were uh, interested. But we do have a combo that we can make. Uh, we can match 4P. So we match 4P, and that is going to give us another move, uh, because that's what P does. But then we also get some P mana. We don't have anything that uses yellow mana right now, uh, so it's a little bit of a waste. But let, let's re-roll the board again. And dude, we have a great, great combo here, uh, because now we can set up a little bit of bone action. And I'm actually going to set it up like this. So we could do this um, and, and get the benefit of the bone. But if I do it here, all of a sudden we have, if you look in this column right here, uh, we have a setup where we can bring a green over on our next turn. And I think that that's probably pretty solid. Now, that said, if I do this, it's going to drop a poop down. And then we can set up a, a big poop on the next one. You know what? I uh, Now I'm liking this much more because we actually have a, a chance to set up a poop and a green on the next one so this is where the strategy aspect of this comes in um there, there's a lot of planning ahead what your moves are going to be so let's let's do this you can now see so we'll throw a bone right there and you can now see that we have a poop set up uh right here or we can even do bring this to here and then do this and we'll match a five poop which is going to be even stronger uh, than the than the four poop and I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate some of those here soon So now we got bumbo smash because we have four white mana and this is an attack that does three damage So pretty good. We're gonna just wipe that fly uh, to bits here And this guy put up a little poop shield uh, the poop shield is pretty strong uh, He will hit us if I hit the poop shield. So what we want to do here 
is probably put up some defense. Uh, I'm going to do that. So that matched a 5 poop. Now, instead of laying down a 1 poop here, it lays down a 2. So it's a little bit stronger uh, because we matched 5. So now, the big poop in the back spawned a little poop. Uh, little poop wants to attack us right now, which is incredibly rude from little poop. Um, if he were to attack us, he's going to actually attack this poop instead, uh, which is why it's a little bit of a defensive item. So I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking. I like the I like the idea of matching four of those right now, and then that'll uh, hit this top guy. It'll always prioritize flying enemies if they're in the same column as a uh, as an enemy that is not flying. And then let's set up uh, let's set up a big bone play on the next one. So if we do this, we can then bring the bone on the bottom over and do a little six banger action. And I think that would be great. So this guy attacked uh, our poop. It's down to a one. But he's going to be in for a rough time on this one. Because by matching six bones, we actually get three bones to throw. Uh, so we can do that. We can do that. And then finally, I'm actually going to attack the poop cloud. Uh, because it's going to then attack the poop instead. So we'll do that. Uh, he comes in and bingo, bango. So now we're great. Uh, we can bumbo smash this guy. And we golden. We hella golden. That worked insanely well. So you can see that we can get through rooms without actually uh, doing anything negative here. So we now get to pick an item. And these are new spells that go into our deck. Um, Rainbow Flag adds three wild tiles. So these can match with anything. I kind of like that. Um... But if we're trying to do, you know, a lot of a lot of items in our Isaac run, Lard does seem like a good choice because it allows us to heal. But I think I'm going to go Rainbow Flag because it's a little bit more exciting. Plus, we don't have anything that uses green or yellow mana yet, so we can uh, we can get that going, and then we can dump all of our green and yellow mana into that guy. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. So we can. Possibly set up like a big P play here. There's actually a variety of moves that we could go with here. Um, Cause I kind of like, kind of like the idea of setting up a big P play. Now all three of these guys are primed and ready to go, which is a little bit disturbing. I kind of hate that. But let's do this. So that's going to give us two moves because we matched a five. Uh, very, very valuable. We'll match some of these. So then we'll hit you. Kill the fly. Then we'll bumbo smash. And do a little smash right there. Now we still got two guys primed. Uh, you don't love it. You don't love it at all. Uh, can we set up some defense? No. Well, no. Well... Still no, but we, we could re-roll the board and then hope for the best. I have a feeling we gonna take some damage right here. Um, please match something of value. Please match something of value. You you actually did in all of the best ways. Um, so let's gum you up. So now he's not going to attack because he lost a movement point. And then this guy's gonna attack the poop. So in some weird world, we actually got out of that. Uh, alive, which is fantastic. So now, uh, here's a wild tile. We're gonna match that with the bones, get some bone action going on here. Kill another fly, and then I'm just gonna real quick bumbo smash this guy. And then we got some pee set up here. You might as well, right? Uh, and then, dude, look at this. We got a nice six banger poop. I'll do you one better, okay? I'll do you one better. Let's set up the seven banger poop for the next turn. And then just watch that go nuts. So this guy actually just drained all of our mana, uh, which is incredibly rude. Yeah! But the seven banger poop lays down three poop in each column, which is insanely good. Uh, basically sets us up defensively for the rest of uh, this fight. So very, very good. Let's do something like this. He's going to tag the poop. I mean, th these guys can't hit us anymore is basically what we... Uh, accomplished on that one so we'll match a little four banger kill you and then i'll match a little five banger we'll kill you 
and then uh, allow me to just bumbo smash the hell out of you. And th that was a room that we, we really looked like we were going to take damage in, uh, but we were totally fine, and this room seems pretty easy. Uh, so I'm I'm chilling. I'm chilling. We're doing fantastic so far. Now, how do I want to play this one? We don't have immediate matches. At least none that I'm, you know, seeing right out the get-go. Um, so one, at least my reasoning is if I don't have a match immediately, probably in our best interest to set up a big match uh, for the future. So it would be something along these lines. They're both going to poop cloud and you're primed. All right. I mean, I kind of hate it. I'm not going to lie, but we can just kill you. Now I'd probably want to set up some poops here. Probably. I mean, I don't like any of these choices, but let, let's do that. I don't want to bumbo smash because if I attack these guys, it's going to uh, hit the poop cloud and then he's going to hit us. So we don't want that. Uh, poop cloud's dissipated already. That is fantastic news. Uh, let's set up a poop there. And then probably do like a little... I mean, do we have an attack we can do? No. I mean, we do have our Bumbo Smash. Um, but let's, let's save Bumbo Smash for right now. Let's chuck that there. These guys aren't going to attack. Save Bumbo Smash, because I, I really want to Bumbo Smash the back guys. Although now I'm looking at it going, we should just hit, I think. So let's do something like this. We get an extra move. Now, we spent a move to get a move, so it's not really uh, beneficial in the end. I am going to Bumbo Smash that guy. This guy is going to hit our poop. Uh, that's okay. Not the end of the world. And boy, I really don't like any of the setup that we have here. Um, it's kind of terrible. <laughs> so, I will just... He keeps on spawning, dude. Gosh darn it. Okay. we're we're. This is going to be our turn. This is our turn. So, it's a smack. And since we matched some of those, we got some rerolls we can do. So let's reroll. I like this here. We can do a little match there. And then hit me with another reroll. We can do a match here. That'll give us a little bit of this. Followed by a little bit of Bumbo Smash. Fantastic. And they're both poop clouding. Which is not fun, because we don't want to hit them now. Uh, so let's let's lay down a poop. We can lay down a poop, and then we can actually kill this guy. Uh, and I think that that's probably a pretty intelligent play. So that goes through, kills him, poop comes in, hits our poop. Uh, he goes boom. Okay, uh, let's save our Bumbo Smash. And then this turn, we, we kind of want to just pop off. Uh, which we have a strong ability to do, and I'll, I'll show you yeah. why. Um, yeah. So now that we did that, we do have an add three wild tiles. They did not necessarily go where I wanted them to. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. If things go well, which they didn't, uh, then we could have ended up with a, a real solid play. But they didn't. So let's kill you. The world's longest room ever, man. Uh, then hit me with a reroll. We can do a little match, get some more uh, yellow mana. Then do a little match, get some uh, green mana. I don't want to throw it at that, though, because I, I don't remember whether or not that sets him off. Then we can add some more wild tiles. And we have, like, a super wombo combo here. For six, uh, six teeth. I really like this. Add three wild tiles. Let's just end. The poop cloud dissipated. Uh, and just like that, we have killed them. So we do a little five damage to him. Super overkill. But it is what it is. Then we smack you. Uh, you go down to three. And then do I have a final match here that makes sense? Yeah, we can just match some uh, bones and life is but a dream. Okay, great work.
Great work. We still flawless through these rooms. We get another item here. So spells cost less for the room. I mean, that can be pretty solid, man. Or we can gain three random mana. I'm not sure that's what we want. Let, let's take sleight of hand. And then uh, here's our boss fight. And this is the end of the first floor. So we, we have to flawless this guy. Uh, I tend to think that Peeper is the hardest of the first floor bosses. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we don't lose. Um, I mean, we're not going to lose, but hopefully we don't lose any hearts. So here's a good wombo. Got a little four poop and a four teeth. You got to love that. Uh, and you'll see how this enemy works here. So his little peeper eyes. Oh, yeah. Give me a spells cost less. Okay, so that lowered this and lowered this. Did not lower our reroll puzzle board, but that's okay. That's okay. I got no issues with uh, lowering the ones that it did. Let's do this for the for the chance of a wombo. So now he's going to attack our poop. Uh, and frankly, I am pretty okay with that. I think that that works out just fine. But now we have to hit those guys out of the way to get them into there, which is annoying. Right? You know, you, you don't want to deal with that. I'm going to save my Bumbo Smash because I would like to Bumbo Smash the enemy, not... Not, uh... Not, not the enemy, you know? So we're going to, we're going to gum you up. We're going to gum you up. We're going to gum you up again. Then I'm going to give myself an extra five, uh, there, which generates more moves for us. Then I think I'm going to do a little bit of this with one of my moves. We're going to hit this guy out of the way. Then we can go in with the Bumbo Smash. That hit him for six, so we got a little bit of a bonus there. Uh, luck actually scales sometimes critical attacks. Uh, so we got a crit there, which is awesome. Now, give me some wild tiles. And let's just see if we can get a match by re-rolling. And we did, we did, I mean, literally our, uh, you know what, set that up there, because he's going to end up attacking. We don't, we don't want him to. Do a little bit of this. And then you got a five banger here. And because of that five banger, we're going to get two Bumbo Smashes out of this. And because of that, this guy's dead. Uh, so we played this very, very well. Little three and a little three. And just like that, uh, see in hell. So we're going into our Isaac run. We're going to have um, each one of these is a half a heart. So we're going to have six items to go. You get a trinket at the end. Um, spells change each room. That's horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. Um, or may add blind to attack. So blind makes the enemies miss uh, sometimes. So pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, at the end of the floor, you end up going into the casino where you can spend your money to get some stat upgrades or change things in your spells. Uh, really interesting mechanic. Uh, the better you play, the more coins you get. So here we actually ended up with another heart, uh, which means that I'm now getting eight items instead of six, which is, uh, I mean, you, you really can't ask for anything more than that. That's pretty damn good. Uh, but these are interesting because you can make certain things better. So, you know, uh, re-roll spell cost. You know, this spell right here has a terrible cost to it. We re-roll it and it's actually like the exact same. Uh, spell cost less. We can't make that one cost less, but how about this one? All of a sudden it's a 4-5 now instead of a 5-5. Five, five. So those are the kind of things that you can do uh, in Legend of Bumbo. That was just the first floor. There are uh, two to three other floors in the game. Um, I won't spoil what the last floor kind of entails, but um, it's a really, really good game. It's a really good game, and it gets harder and harder as you go. Uh, so I highly implore you to check it out. I've been posting everyday videos of Legend of Bumbo, so go by, check that out. Uh, I'm going to go get this Isaac run set up, and I'll see you guys momentarily. Okay, here we are in-game, playing as the Alexa character, because why not, am I right? Uh, let's give ourselves a combo of eight random items from the treasure room pool. Bingo, bango, we've done it. And then just because it's only fair, uh, how about we give ourselves Bumbo as well? Uh, so we have Pop Explosivo, which is real interesting, uh, plus a Tears Up. Pretty good, to be honest with you. 
Uh, damage is pitiful, and we managed to actually roll three active items there, which is pretty unfair, to be honest with you. So how about you combo uh, 0 0.3? No, 0 0.2. Okay, there we go. So we also got Bum Friend. That's, I mean, that's only fair, right? And Little Spewer. So are you a wizard? Pr probably just like pitifully horrible to snag in your first room, but it's all good, right? It's all good. We chillin', dude. We chillin'. Uh, we're gonna want to level Bumbo all the way up. I think it's only fair that we level Bumbo uh, all the way up in his like official episode of uh, of Alexa Isaac uh, of Isaac series, you know. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, there is, like, one big difference between a game like Bumbo and a game like Isaac. Uh, besides, like, literally pretty much everything about it besides being a roguelite. Um, the big difference is that we also, we can't take items. This of Isaac rules, we can only take uh, two item room items or one boss room item. And right now, I'm looking for freaking damage dude because that that is what is going to hurt us the most on this run is the fact that we have 2.52 damage uh, i will go so far as to say i'm gonna try to make magic mush appear out of thin air on this run because oh my god another one makes you small it's getting a little it's getting wacky already you gotta love it right but uh the big difference between a game like bumbo and a game like uh isaac is one, I don't know Bumbo well enough yet. So the wacky commentary, you, you just don't get it. Oh, dude, look at this, though. Pretty good synergy there as well. Uh, you just don't get the, the wacky Alexa commentary with Bumbo as much because my brain is in freaking overdrive, man. I keep on stealing Bumbo's money. I need to give Bumbo coin. Bumbo want coin. As simple as that, man. You, you got to give Bumbo his coin. All right, let's just go. It's an easy first floor. Hell, it's an easy run. This is this is a fun run, dude. I've always loved pop as an item, uh, and even better when it's not ah crap. Uh, even better when it's not modded because the item doesn't lag to all eternity. But um, okay, you are hella dead. I don't know what that item is, so I'm just gonna go. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But da ba do da da do. But uh. I love strategy roguelites. Th those that don't know me for anything other than Isaac, uh, I mean, maybe you haven't noticed that I have like a hundred videos of Slay the Spire on the channel. But that's another game that you know is it's a roguelite, so you still have the the kind of feeling of those that kind of mechanic of a run in a game where uh, you start from scratch every time, but you unlock new stuff to to make your future runs better and things like that. Um, I love Slay the Spire, but it's a very, very different style of game. You know, it's a card game that it takes a little bit to learn. And I always, I feel bad when my Spire videos don't do well. But then I realize it's like, you know, hopping into a hundred episode series, not knowing anything about the game is, it's difficult, you know? Uh, and, and that's why I love the Of Isaac series. Because now, you know, I'm like five episodes into Bumbo. If you watch this video and you go, man, this game looks really cool, and I want to uh, kind of be able to follow what the hell's going on in it. Inspire is a little bit more complicated than Bumbo. Uh, there's definitely some more difficult choices. Yo, Sack Dagger is crazy good, though. And I am, like, very highly debating taking it. But I think I'm, I think I'm going to peek the Devil Deal first. Um, if we get the Devil Deal, which I suppose is not... A guarantee at this point we, we have to uh i'm not to get hit here very soon um he is a champion my friend do do he'll keep on fighting there's a tinted rock in that room by the way so we'll be back but uh i'm doing it of isaac this early on Bumbo, maybe gives you an opportunity to check out the game for yourself uh, and, and try a new genre of game and, and follow and backseat the hell out of me uh, as I play the game and and kind of expand your YouTube horizon uh, or even your just gaming horizon in general. So we don't want that item for sure. We don't really want that item either. So hear me out. I'm going to take one of my active items to be Sack Dagger. 
Um, it's a, it's a, the best orbital in the game. It's also huge, and I am small. Very small boy, I am. Uh, so I think this is, this is a good choice for us here. Let's head on down. We're, we're moving, we're moving quickly on this one. And that, that is A-OK. -okay. That is A-OK. -okay. It's very, very dark. Very, very dark. But that's okay. But, uh, I love strategy roguelike games. You know, the Spire, the Dicey Dungeons, now Bumbo. It's like the year of, uh, strategy roguelites, and I hope that that doesn't stop. You know, there's there's something about the genre where having runs in a strategy game is surprisingly well done. Um, and I guess I've always been someone that enjoys games that make you think. You know, I love puzzle games. Uh, thinking back to the Portal series, you know, I had a ton of fun playing Portal. Um, I've played The Witness in my spare time, and I really, really like that game as well. Oh, there's something about games that make me think that I really enjoy. Sackhead would be great. However, uh, hear me out. Bumbo, you're taking all my coin. So we can level you up to be Max Bumbo. I also just realized that Bumbo and Bumfriend are basically going to be fighting over who get coin. Which is, uh... I'm not going to say it's a problem, but it's... It's an interesting uh, situation to have, I suppose. We already borked up our devil deal on this floor, by the way. In fact, we, we've really borked up our devil deal on this floor now. If you'd like to if you'd like to not bork up that devil deal, that would be for the better in the future, but we'll continue on. I do want to see the item room, because in case it is uh, like a ridiculously good damage up, like something like a Polyphemus would be a top tier item for us on this run. You know, we already have a high rate of fire. I mean, another thing would be like Sacred Heart, but look, you can't can't win them all, right? Okay, he will die from explosions. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Come in here. Yeah, I will do this. Um Yeah, automatically worth it. And then getting keys back is even better and bombs back is even better. Those will explode. More keys and bombs. Very, very good room. Plus, Steven is a uh, considerable damage bonus on the run. Not not enough to, you know, transform the run, but we can feel that damage already. You know, I always talk about being able to feel the damage on a run. We're, we're feeling damage, for sure. There is a coin in here. Bumbo! Bumbo, take that coin. He's tiny Bumbo now. Okay. One step closer to uh, full Bumbino status, which is the Italian gangster mob Bumbo. Okay. It's been a long week for me. Uh, it's nice to sit down and just kind of relax and uh, play some games and record. With the release of Bumbo, uh, I was a little, I was a little stressed all week because I also had uh, a huge exam that I was studying for. Yo, real good though. Um, Huge exam that I was studying for all week. Uh, it went very well. Thanks for asking. Um, so it's just been a stressful week. I'm recording this actually the day that I'm posting it. And that is something that I never, ever do. Um, I, I like to have a big backlog on videos most of the time. This might be the secret room. It was. Okay, good stuff. Bumbo. Take coin, buddy. I mean, you did have your friends steal some of it. But, uh, you both, you both did great, to be honest. Bumbo, take that one as well. Okay, 11% chance of a deal. I, I'm gonna go with probably pretty unlikely here, uh, to get one. Just banking that off of, uh, logic. Plus, very ironic that we end up having Peep here, uh, when we were fighting Peeper in Bumbo. But, it's good. It's good, man. There, there's so many little connections to Isaac uh, in Bumbo, and I, I won't even spoil the largest one because there's actually a considerable amount of lore in Bumbo uh, that relates to the Isaac universe. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you watch my series to figure out uh, what exactly that is all about. But, um... Cool, cool, cool. Continue on. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know what I was talking about. Here's all I have to say. Bumbo real good. 
and you know the stress that was involved this week from me recording it it was all worth it because the game is great uh, there's still a lot of things that i want done in it and fixed in it uh, and ed has already said that like basically due to how much people have enjoyed it already a dlc is basically like a hundred percent gonna happen um, which I think is exciting because I think there is a lot of very fascinating stuff that can be done with that game. Um, you know, people say that match four mechanics have been overdone. And to some extent, I agree. Um, but this game does it so much differently because of the, you know, nature of it being a strategy game, not a match four game. You know, it's, instead, it's Slay the Spire, but instead of cards, it's match four. It's Dicey Dungeons, but instead of dice, it's match four. Um, and I think that when you think of it like that, instead of thinking of it like a match four game, you, you realize how deep the game actually is in terms of its strategy. Uh, and I think that that's pretty cool to take a genre that like nobody likes, uh, except for middle-aged women and, uh, turn around and you have something phenomenal. So Bumbo's max, which is awesome. He's already dropping me crap as well. Uh, you gotta love this Bumboey boy. Already doing uh, some great work for the squad here. I will just sack dagger the hell out of you, buddy. Fantastic work. Magic 8 ball. We, we, we can't take any of these. That's the nature of how of Isaac works. Can't take uh, boss items once you've taken uh, item room item. And we still have an item room item that we can take. And let me tell you right now probably gonna be looking to take like this floor if it's even remotely okay since next floor it could be absolutely terrible so if it's okay on this floor uh we're gonna go in and take it just to ensure that we get some benefit out of our uh item room items we actually we're, we're gonna be able to make it the boss rush as well I'm, I'm moving very fast i haven't played isaac this fast in a long time to be honest with you. Um, I, I've normally, I play this game pretty slow, as you know. I used to play, it's weird. I had a weird evolution in Isaac. Um, I used to play Isaac, like, speed run all the time. And then something happened where I was like, man, I, I think it was more like I found that I really enjoyed breaking the game. And you gotta play pretty slow sometimes to break the game uh so i was i was playing more slow to break the game a lot and getting to the point where you know i was basically game breaking every run um in the early 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 afterbirth plus time frame because the game was the game was very easy to break around that in fact i mean it's even easier to break now but uh I just kind of, I choose not to on a lot of runs now, just because I think that a game break all the time is a little, uh, much. Dude, that, that item's terrible. So I, I think I am going to push my luck here and see if maybe next floor is going to be a even better item than Wishbone. I did just lose my Devil Deal chance, which is massively unfortunate. In fact, I'm losing a lot of my Devil Deal chance. We'll for sure get one next floor. Unless I, you know, botch it up again on that floor, but... but let's bank on not botching up our Devil Deal on the next floor. In fact, I mean, we already botched it up in this room, so... 1% chance, anybody? What are the odds? They said it couldn't be done. Okay, they were correct when they said it couldn't be done. It indeed could not be done. 100% uh, chance, okay. And, and you do have a little bit of... Crap going on in this room. Yeah, I hate myself. Okay. That was pretty that was pretty poor. Here's part of the problem, I can tell you right now. I always think that where I am is Sack Dagger. But in reality, I'm very small boy and I can't see myself on the screen. Uh, does that mean I'm gonna stop taking what makes you small pills? No, I'm gonna take all of them still. But um I'm still very small boy. I also love that our extension cord is, like, actually doing damage to these guys. I I've never seen this trinket actually do this much benefit for us. But it's surprisingly effective 
in the game. All right, get that back up. We, we probably want to try to lose. Oh, dude, I will reroll this run in a heartbeat. I would be very sad to lose my Bumbley boy, but um, a reroll would be fun. I do just realize that I have no keys. Um, so instead of going to the item room where we are 100% taking the item in it, I'll spend a key on a room that I cannot actually get into. Very fun. Uh, okay, let, let's go into that room now. It's a three room. Reroll stuff on the floor. Um, not really sure if the benefit was all there on that one. But another key. Look, that's all I really wanted in the end. So now, whatever's in our item room is ours. Hot bombs. Check it and see. I got a fever of 103. It's fine. I mean, look, it's extra bombs. I already got 16 of them, so it's hard for me to get too, too excited. And I, I think that hot bombs are, you know, in general, not the best bomb synergy in the game. They're fine, but, you know, they're, they're, they kind of fall under the category of just an addition to the run. You know, they, they do a little bit more damage if we're using them for damage. Am I going to be using them for damage a whole hell of a lot? Probably not. But it doesn't mean I'm unhappy to see him. Bumbo's putting in the work. You love that as well. Little luck upgrade. Hello, friends. Hello, friend. And while you're at it, hello, friend. Pop a yum heart. 36% chance of a deal. That's better than nothing, man. But that is much better than nothing, and you cannot deny. That said, hear me out. Since this is boss rush floor, and we know that there was a card here, it is a teleportation card. Okay. Well, we're guaranteed boss rush now, and our items have been pretty freaking terrible, so I feel like, you know, pretty decent chance of getting something of value yeah i mean that was fair you got me <laughs> i trapped myself you got me uh rubber cement would be pretty fun experimental treatment i do like but uh rubber cement is fun and who am i to rip you away from a uh a fun run here now we might die i mean i'm just looking at the situation at hand we, we might die you know, we're sit we're sitting on one one heart this time. Bop bop two hearts this time. Now everybody slide to the right. Slide to the left. I'm going to a formal banquet tonight. Um It's something for, for graduation from from El Colegio. I don't know what to expect from it, to be completely honest with you. Um I don't know if there's gonna be dancing. Also, hey, Bumbo, frig off, buddy, because I need coin right now so I can take the Diplope and then do a little bit of this, which, by the way, this is a luck up. And then this is a Joker card, you beautiful, beautiful boy, you. Okay. Then I, I take the Yum Heart, and then I take the Yum Heart, which is not actually charged yet. Uh, Give me the Joker. Joker. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Holy Mantle. And then I'm also going to possibly fight Mega Satan on this run. But, I mean, this fight will be way sketchier than, than we could have ever hoped for an Angel Deal fight to be. Dum -da -dum -da -dum, da -dum -da -dum. That went well. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, do I want a Joker card for the next floor? Look, easy choice, to be honest with you. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we will have an 100% chance of a deal on the next floor because of the way that we uh, botched up this floor. So just survive, stupid. And and then you basically have two guaranteed deals going forward. I have all the interest in doing this. I no longer have the interest in doing this. So you tried, right? You did your best to give me what I asked for. Dude, these little leeches, I actually can't tell what's my own tears and what isn't. That's the issue. Like, 
I always feel like we found the secret room as well. I keep on feeling like my own tears are enemies. Which does create some problems. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Big little golden poop. I actually genuinely, I don't need money anymore. So, if you guys want to give me crap, I will not be mad. We got 12 bombs. We got all the bombs in the freaking universe. Hell, we can get a bunch more as well. Bumbo, do not throw a bomb anywhere near me, you son of a gun. I kind of wish that Bumbo in Legend of Bumbo had uh, had a bomb-related thing since he th throws so many damn bombs in Isaac. Oh, and by the way, I didn't actually make this uh, well-known in the Bumbo section, but there's actually six different characters as well. Uh, all of them play insanely differently. Um, some of them much harder than others. We were basically playing uh, one of... I thought that was a Tinted Rock, uh, but it was not. We were playing probably like the third easiest character, in my opinion. Uh, th there are some characters that are very, very easy, in my opinion. It's so easy that they're probably going to get nerfed. Um, but... We'll see, right? I mean, there's there's still a lot of time to go in the game, and maybe I've just gotten lucky on a couple of runs, you know? I will bomb these. That's a dime for you, Bumbo, or bum friend. I was gonna say, you better give me something here. Bombs are key. What are you? Another one makes you small? Don't mind if I do. I don't have enough of those yet. You know, one benefit of being small, dodges that I don't actually think are possible, we end up, uh absolutely killing it thank you another freaking fly in the chest is because we have poker chip in case you were confused as to why we were getting uh jack all from chests a little bit of a sketchy room there sketchy room but nothing we can't get through in the end because in the end a bumble didn't even matter because we have a quite strong run. Although Bumbo is, he's putting in the work. It helps that Bumbo's an absolute chonk, dude. Like, but Bumbo's an absolute unit of a human being in this game. Uh, Sister Vis, they're fine. I'm not overly concerned, if I'm being real. I would really like a deal, though. I feel like we are uh, massively overdue. There's our deal. Prayer card is is pretty horrible, uh, to be blunt. I will take it. And then I will fight the angel. We, we need our other key. If we're going to fight Mega Satan on this run, which I mean, we're currently geared up to do, um, then we definitely need the key piece. So, Donkey Shay, see ya. Will I pop the Joker immediately on this floor? I mean, we don't have a reason to, right? You'd rather... Okay, just don't... Don't shoot. You'd, you'd rather go for... Uh, go for broke, see if you get the 30% chance. Or whatever it is. Now, you're probably going to get hit on this floor, unless you decide to be uh, pretty good at the game, which... I'm not saying we have a huge chance to be good at the game, but... I have played a little bit of Isaac in my time. Hello, friends. Please. You're all so so shooty, and I would prefer you weren't, to be fair. Fantastic. I'm really craving, like, a really nice warm drink. Except I don't want tea, and I don't want hot chocolate. And I don't want coffee, because I don't like coffee. And the problem is, those are like the only warm drinks. Like, unless I'm just going to make a cup of hot water and then just drink it. I, I want, you know that feeling of when you, you sip a warm drink? And it's just like this warm, uh, warm feeling rushing through you? That's what I want right now. And I feel like I, uh, feel like I don't have a good way to get that. I will Joker. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take Godhead. Seems like, uh reasonable choice on that one and i'll go do hush why not right i took a sip i have iced tea next to me that's why i don't want hot tea 
took a sip of tea. All right. Bunch of garbage ass chests, to be honest with you. But that's life. Uh, of Isaac rules say that you can take these rooms. Dude, what's another familiar, right? We don't need butt bombs. Oh, what's another familiar, right? Dude, just keep them coming. And then in here, get, give me uh, some, some moolah. Bumbo, don't do that. And then give me a joker card. Okay, sacred heart? It's a devil deal. How strange. Uh, did not expect that. Okay. Now, you can donate 10 cents. If I could donate all of Bumbo, I would. Because, boy, he's got a lot of coin in him right now. We actually got an increased angel deal chance. Which would have been nice to have before... Uh, okay, that was easy. Would have been nice to have before uh, going and popping the Joker card. But, it's all good. So, 5.12 damage. We have Pop Godhead. Which is a very good synergy, by the way. So, I feel okay about this. Um... In fact, I feel very good about this. This this is some melting uh, melting damage that is going to occur here. Because the aura is just going to continue to deal damage. Did I actually find like the best pop synergy in the game in Godhead? I didn't I knew it was good. I didn't think it was this good. But this is proving to be pretty damn good. Uh I'm having a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. Do 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 do. It's actually like it melted his minions when they came out. So good fight, good run. Um, obviously, you know we didn't really get this run from scratch. We had some items at the start to help us out. Um, but that's that's life, right? Everybody needs a little help. You get by with a little help from your friends. Ooh, I get high with... Okay. I mean, look. The Beatles, they were great. But when you're trying to run a uh, PG-13 stream, them doing LSD is not necessarily going to help with that. I always love... You know, there's a Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. You've probably heard of it. Um, the, the idea is that Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is 100% about them being on LSD, because it's Lucy in the sky with diamonds, LSD. Um, and like John Lennon came out and he was like, the song is not about LSD, it's about my daughter Lucy who made a, made a picture or something like that. And it's like, dude, don't fool yourself, okay? We all know you guys were high on LSD. Just accept that the song is about LSD and move on with your day, you know? Rest in peace, John Lennon. Uh, very unfortunate death. The man was shot, but um, that doesn't that doesn't mean that he's not wrong about his stance on their songs being about LSD. Then again, uh, guess what? He was dead before I was born, so maybe he does know a thing or two about what his music means. And I'm an ignorant uh, boy living in a lonely world. He took the midnight train going anywhere. I don't know. It's life, dude. Right? It's life. So, we are uh, very strong. In case that was not evident by, like, the minute hush fight. Um, we're also in a, in, in a place where we are clearing rooms. Basically by walking in, firing, like, 15 shots, and then just walking around and leaving. Bumbo, take all the coin, dude. You deserve it. You've done great work, my friend. I will steal that coin, though. You can have all the coin from these guys, okay? And there's going to be a bunch. Just take all. You and Bum Friend can fight over him. Bumbo's winning this battle, though. Bum Friend got one. We should keep a tally. Who's winning the fight? Uh, bombs are key. I would rather have 13 keys just going on to the, the final floor here that has some... Uh, some chesticles on it. Thank you for the card. The sun. I would love to have mapping on the next floor. Thanks for asking. So we will... We will rock the sun. We will also rock you. We will. We will. Buddy, you're a boy. Make a big noise. Secret room. Dude, I love that my brain is just programmed to understand exactly where secret rooms are in Isaac. Like, immediately upon looking into the room... And not even, like, examining 
the floor at all. Like, it's a very enjoyable experience to be able to do that. Hello, Monstro 2. Monstro 2, what are you going to do without the Monstro 2? Run got very strong, everybody, in case you were unaware. The worst part is, we probably do more damage with our actual tears than with Sack Dagger at this point. But, uh... The Isaac fight is just so much easier with Sack Dagger, right? So we will do uh, Mega Satan here. We're going to start with ruining our run with some form of something. So $3 bill is fine. 8 inch nails is phenomenal. Blue Baby's only friend I do like. And then forget me now, let's start it again. Why not, right? Does that still open the door? You got to be kidding me. Um, well, can't win them all, right? Uh, I will take Eve's Mascara. I actually think that the, this is a very, very good item to take here for the extra damage. This is unfortunate because unless I find Dad's key, uh, we ain't doing no Mega Satan today. And I would have really liked to watch Mega Satan get totally melted by this run. But I will clear the entire floor looking for Dad's key uh, and or looking for um, Get Out of Jail Free card. Or teleportation into two distinct different angel deals to re-get the key pieces. It's not going to happen. Okay. In fact, it's actually not possible. Uh, so coupon is... I'm going to be real with you. It's actually 450% worthless. There's not a single thing we can do with coupon that will benefit this run. Um, I take that back. If we did have a joker card, we could use it to get a free devil deal. But... Pretty low likelihood. I'm just going to throw that out there. Alright. I do like a Death's Touch run here. Tiny Room Fallen is horrendous, but we have the damage to do it. This is another uh, Bowser key. I mean, I suppose this may be better for us. Yo, this is some Super Melt Room here. Proptosis is a, a very disgusting thing to pair here. Dad's key? Not Dad's key. I'll continue to, to praise every chest to have Dad's key. It's not likely that it comes out. You know, there are 560 items in Isaac. Uh, the chance of Dad's key being the one that comes out of the chest, pretty low. But a man can hope, right? I feel bad. I, I yeeted away a, uh, a Mega Satan victory for the fun of grabbing more items that... I mean, look, they did actually benefit us a lot. Um, and they were really, really good. Eve's Mascara is is a lot of damage that has come into these tiers. Maybe it was not the smartest move. I don't know. Um, look, I, I still see myself clearing rooms almost instantly, and I go, can't have been that bad. I like Eve's Mascara. I think it's a good item, okay? Many people argue that Eve's Mascara is not a good item. Um, to you, I say, you're very likely wrong. Um, but at least... At least you can admit that you're wrong. Oh, we could go do the void. I really don't want to, if I'm being real with you. Because I kind of hate delirium. We could very easily win this run, um, going to the void. Also, I think that was a bumbo dropped item, the, the forever alone there. Which is very sad. Poor bumbo, forever alone. Need coin, don't have coin. That's a lot of coin, but it's coin for me. It's all good. It's all we're we're fine. If we can't do Mega Satan, we can't do Mega Satan. For some reason, I really thought that was gonna be Dad's key. It was not actually Dad's key. Hello, friend. Go to hell. Hello, friend. Go to hell. Okay. Get me the Helter Skelter out of here. Will I do the void? I feel like at this point, you're going to yell at me if I don't. So I'll do the void. But we got no mapping, dude. Which kind of makes me want to die. <laughs> but I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm going to take a sip of tea, though. Of the ice variety. It's an ice green tea. Kind of tastes like soap, if I'm being real with you. But, uh, 
is putting some caffeine through my uh, blood stream, and that is all I really wanted it to do. It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, but look, it's been a long week, okay? It's been a long week. This video is not getting out until like 3 o'clock today or something like that. I still got to render the entire thing. and You're, you're getting a Slay the Spire video today at 2 o'clock before, uh, before this video at 4. Let me tell you that right now. And you'll like it. God damn it. Alright. It's all good. Just means uh, Slay Aspire for people who like Slay Aspire more than they like Isaac, which uh, is like nobody on my channel. Although that's not true. There's a lot of you that like Slay Aspire. Such a good game, Aspire. Uh, if you do not know about Slay Aspire, you're missing out on a phenomenal strategy game. The Ultra Modded series is an absolute blast and game breakingly, head breakingly weird at times. It's a great community spire. It's a guppy's hairball. We are one guppy item away from the gubster. Would be cool to get guppy. Because we actually don't have flight on this run. And I think that flight would actually benefit us a good amount to be able to run wherever the hell we want and, and kill. We do still have holy mantle, by the way. I feel like that's something that kind of got forgotten about on this run. Mainly because we clear... Okay, it's just the lamb, nonchalantly. Uh, I feel like we clear rooms so fast that we're not really getting hit ever. But... Okay, Linger Bean is horrible. Yo, double. It's the cage. Guess what? I don't care. Got the item? Someday, dude. Delirium? It's the adversary. I mean, these are some horrible boss fights, if we're being honest. Bob's Curse, still not, um, guppy. Just thought I would continue to remind you. Delirium? It is delirium. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. I uh, guess what? Popping coupon? You're free now. Go, go home, E.T. Yo, look at this, though. I had no idea that would work like that, but I guess it made sense that it did. And too many flashing bright lights for me. This fight is so weird because I kind of just walk around in circles and hope for the best in it most of the time. Because I don't actually know what's ever going on in the fight. I still don't know how I did this fight as the Lost and the Keeper and, and things like that. Because it is horrible and we're probably going to die. This is the Isaac fight? Just, just like kill this guy? Just stay the hell away from him. All right, we, we did it. Not a problem. One heart swag. We did have Lazarus's rags as well, so we, we would have been fine had we died. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you, uh, you watching the video and hopefully liking the video. If you want to check out Legend of Bumbo, we've been posting it every day. You can check out that playlist. I'm going to post that in the description down below. Uh, go check out Bumbo if you want to see more and see what that rest of the game entails. We'll be posting probably not everyday Bumbo anymore, but like every other day Bumbo for sure. It's a good time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. You have a good one. Goodbye.